like the main thing is y'all just like ever look inside your like imagine you know close your eyes close them you know what i mean and can y'all ever just visualize the world formless you know forget about numbers you know what i'm saying forget about having to count how much a piece of grass costs you know what i mean that's ridiculous <laughs> you know what i'm saying but just imagine the world without form you know what i'm saying without cars without trucks without concrete streets without buildings you know apartments like that you know and maybe you can't imagine what apartments but i'm talking about imagine the most ancient rawest form of living of life you know in the jungle in the safari you know possibly out in the desert you know in the pyramids of Giza in Egypt you know stuff like that that type of vibe imagine that type of atmosphere and bring it to your own reality now that's what I'm doing don't fight nothing you know be accepting of what it is now but I'm saying at least have that progressive movement and then you really get some ideas and you can share them with the world like you know that's what I'm doing it because it's like you know ain't nobody want to be stuck in the matrix ain't nobody want to be stuck going to a job getting paid peanuts you know just to come home to be so exhausted you're not even able to enjoy yourself just to go back this next day to do the same thing over and over and over again and then you're stuck because they're paying you peanuts and you think that you have to be dependent on that for your bills for your your way of living or whatever and that's not the case that's not real it's not true it's not freedom okay that's why I say break it down to raw, organic, initial, formless, natural living. Because guess what? You really think that wise kings and queens and pharaohs and ancient esoteric people were really searching, you know, looking for money, looking for uh, authority to accept them, looking for, you know, looking to follow people's expectations, looking to have people you know, like them, this or that, so that they can pick a mango from a tree, so that they can go pick a coconut from a tree, so that they can go pick an avocado from a tree, or get some strawberries from the soil, some grapes from the soil. You really think they was asking for permission for that? You think they was saying, hey, here's my form of pavement, here we go. You think they was waiting up in line in a cold air conditioning room to buy something? You think they was at the market like that? You think that for real? You think that they was worried about TMZ? You think they was worried about news reporters? You think they was worried about politics? You think they was worried about all this silly stuff? Like governmental type stuff? This insane asylum the world has become? You really think that? No. You know why? Because there was sanity back then. There was an alkaline environment where there was no laws there was no certifications there was no degrees there was no incarceration just judicial system there was no jails prisons there were no police there was no prostitution there was no cheating there was no violence there were no guns there were no knives you know there was no cigarettes there was no club you know what i'm saying it was chill very chill and it's grown since then obviously you know it's grown since then obviously that's all i'm saying but can you imagine that imagine a world without all that because that's the world i'm desiring to live in to be living in to live with and fully you know acceptance within myself so i am able to continue being free i am free you know can you imagine a world where, you know, people actually cared, where people actually, you know, got along, you know what I'm saying, where there was resonance? I'm, I'm in it, you know, it's here and there, you know, different audiences. Some people, they will say what's up, they will say hey, you know, they will give a handshake or whatever, just random strangers, you know, because it's the love, the mutual love, the respect from strangers, you know what I'm saying? But then you go deep into the matrix, into the city, downtown, here or there. Guess what? You got millions of cars flying by for people with so-called high bank account balances. But they still sad. 
they still miserable. You know why? Because they watch my videos, they watch us, our videos, our stuff, wishing that they were in the same position. But guess what? I'm letting y'all know, you can do it your own way. You don't gotta live a lie. You don't gotta sell out and live in no corporate job that you know you don't wanna be in. You know it's a freaking illusion and it's a way, it's, it's, it's weighing you down. You know what I mean? You know you can come up out of that and take care of yourself. You know you don't like going in your job. There's some people that's 50, 60, 70 years old. That's why I learned we're not here to save everybody. You know, we're not here to save everybody. That's not our job. We can only leave our own only imprint on life, on the world. You know what I mean? I've worked with some people. It was a lady, she's like 60, 70 years old. Extremely poor, terrible health. You know what I'm saying? Very old, her back is hunched over. You know what I'm saying? She has severely anemic skin, you know, and has a bitter attitude. This is just the truth, the real truth. You know what I'm saying? But she keep going on and on and on and on. And I'm not, I can only do so much just by being myself. You know, I'm not gonna tell her, hey, stop working here. Or hey, you need to do this or do that. No, I don't do that at all. People gonna have to learn and get real with themselves. That's what the real truth is, you know, about all this stuff. You know, but just people like that, and the list goes on with people with severe weight problems, morbidly obese, and they want to lie about that stuff. And don't let them, you know, bring you down at all, for real. Don't let their personal problems, their poor health, their, like, problems weigh you down at all, for real. You know, because that's not your business. Their problem was already there before you came along. You know what I'm saying? So... That's a big learning lesson for all of us. You know what I'm saying? I'm no perfect, I'm no saint, but I, at least I bring out some some upliftment and some truth and some realness about this stuff. Because it get old seeing things, you know, when living in a way that don't serve you. So that's why it just makes sense to live in a progressive mindset, you know? Seeing the cat down the road, for real, right now, literally. I'm pretty sure they just climbed under the fence, you know? Or maybe they're hiding behind the car. I just saw the cat down the road. <laughs> yeah, the cat, he just went under the fence. The cat down the road, you know. I'm not perfect, but at least I'm doing something. Providing a message, sharing content, creating content, getting some ideas, you know, and good vibes out there, you know, to show that you're not alone and that we somehow, some way connect with one another. You know what I mean? And that's amazing when we can because it shows that it is possible to live how we're supposed to live, naturally, freely, you know, peacefully, in love you know that type of vibe and to come full circle with ourselves and then boom then we have that that momentum to just really travel to really you know inspire and impact other people in the physical where people are inviting us to go speak at their seminars where people are inviting us to go speak at their lectures where people are inviting us to come and redesign their restaurants or their gym or their health concerns or whatever, you know what I mean? That's what I'm going for, that's where we going, you know what I mean? I live for this, you know? I don't die for it, I live for this. I live for this freedom, you know what I'm saying? To help, to make a contribution. You know, we gotta get out of that mind state of, oh my God, what's the point of life? It's pointless, it is pointless, okay? But at least step up to the plate, you know, own your uniqueness, own your authentic authenticity, and create and search and realize and come up and surrender to your own unique purpose of life. You know what I'm saying? And meditate on it and just accept it. You know what I'm saying? It don't do no good just to be constantly wanting to be this an unproductive, lazy piece of matter laying around in the world. You know, we all supposed to produce and contribute something. Even something as simple as working out at the gym realize you're doing a lot for yourself as well as the people that's working out with you at the gym you know even if you don't even know them and it's just strangers that may glance up at you you may be a young person and there may be some older people in the gym they may be behind you you know while you're on the treadmills this or that and they may see you and y'all may not talk but maybe that brought brings a smile to their face to their heart you know maybe you remind them of their child or of a family member or whatever maybe you just brought a smile to them because you're youthful you know, they see themselves within you just at an earlier point in time in a different way, you know, and 
they get inspired by your youthfulness and they may feel encouraged to do that. And then vice versa, maybe we feel inspired by them saying, oh, wow, okay, they're about 20, 30 years older than I am or further down the, the road than I am, you know, further along, different page, different chapter in their story. They have some wisdom, some wise information, you know, for us and they can inspire us too because it's like, oh, okay, they've already been through a lot. They're more settled down. They have a lot of experience. You know, they probably have financial abundance on a completely higher high level you know what i'm saying and all that stuff so like that's how we learn together iron sharpens iron i'm not even religious but i support that verse a lot iron sharpens iron for real you know for real for real and just say to yourself i'm free i'm free i'm free i'm free you know and I don't know how all this will work out, but just I'm just sharing out some ideas. You know, I'm accepting the thing, things the way they are, the things that I do accept. You know, and I'm just moving forward intelligently. You know, and in harmony. You know what I'm saying? Because it all makes sense as we are able to be equal amongst each other. That's the biggest thing that keeps that unifies humanity, love the world or whatever. Is when we're able to really see things eye to eye and be equal, you know, where there is no victim or perpetrator, where there is no, you know, better or, you know, worse type of people, you know what I'm saying, where it's just equality, you know, no matter what cards you're given, you know, obviously there's resonance, obviously there's some differences, energetic differences, this and that, but like, still, as I've said in my other examples, in my other videos, we still supposed to respect each other, love, respect, and care for one another, you know what I'm saying, truthfully. Not fooling around, not playing no games, but just surrendering. And I guess that's the biggest thing about love we have to le learn about within ourselves first and foremost is to surrender to love and accept and trust ourselves first. And then we're able to experience that throughout the world, you know. And that's how big things take off. That's how big things rise, you know what I'm saying? That's how big businesses get off the ground. That's how YouTube content exposure is shared, you know. That's how things change through that one energetic change of consistency of momentum built up a huge wave now we're on the beach now i'm just in the sand now i'm in the ocean you know what i'm saying now i'm on a new level of health you know so that's where i'm going with